question is from BR Porter 23. What is the difference between priming and warming up? Major, oh. major difference. One specific, the other one is nothing. Aimless. Really. Yeah, one is just getting your core temperature up. Yeah, warming up, the 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 goal of warming up, if you ask anybody, like, hey, what's why are you warming up? What's the goal? Well, the goal is to prevent injury. Okay, that's great. That's the least that proper warming up or prime. By the way, priming, warming up, it, they all they both entail doing something before you work out to you know prevent injury and make your workout more effective, or at least that's what they should do. Now, warming up, general warming up, uh, without any real individualized attention or attention to how you move or with any corrective component, you're going to get some injury prevention benefits, but you're not going to get a lot of you know, uh, getting better results benefits or being stronger benefits or improving movement benefits. That's what priming does. Priming is very individualized. So Really, they're the same thing, but they're not because priming is incredibly. So, I'll give you an example, right? So, let's say you have somebody with, uh, let's say you, I have a, a female client who can't feel her glutes when she does squats or deadlifts and her butt is underdeveloped. Um, a warm up might be hey, let's have you walk on the treadmill, right. do or, some general or stretches. Grab your quad, stretch your quad yeah. a little bit. Just stretch everything out. Do the cross your legs over and stretch your hamstrings. Yeah, like just do high a, knees. a yeah, general yeah, thing. Yeah. Now, priming, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at our movement patterns. I'm going to say, oh, okay, you're, you're not feeling your glutes. Let's prime your glutes in a way so that you know how to connect to them. Oh, it looks like you have some ankle mobility problems. Let's work on your ankle mobility so that when you squat, you have better form. Oh, it looks like you have forward shoulder. Let's prime your body properly so that you can hold yourself in that proper posture better because you can feel the muscles more effectively and because now you have familiarity um, with what proper posture is supposed to feel like, which is what proper priming does. So if you prime properly, you go into your workout and you're and it's like it's like you take imagine this, your workout has a potential. The number is a hundred. The most you can get out of your workout is a hundred. Proper priming ensures that you get cl as close to a hundred as possible. If you don't prime, you're lucky if you get, a hundred, you're probably going to only get a fraction of the total potential because you're not able to get into those positions properly, feel the muscles you want to feel. So priming makes a huge difference. Well, and you know the point you're making too. This is why we created a program around it because it's not as simple as just warm up or telling the audience like, oh, here are priming movements for you. Well, that should be individualized, right? You should have somebody, hopefully a professional, or in this case, we have an at-home test that you take. Where we have we broke the body up in three zones, and we have you do this test, and it's either pass or fail in each zone. So if you cannot do this movement perfectly, it's considered a fail. If it's a fail, there are a series of movements that we tell you you should do to prime your body to help you with exercises that would require those movement patterns. Mm -hmm. So that is the idea. The idea is that you take a test like this, you get to you learn what areas or where you have dysfunction or you don't have great mechanics, and then you start to prime exercises to help you perform exercises better. And then it's specific to you. And that's what your warm-up, quote-unquote, prime priming should look like every day before you go into your workout. And it should be very specific to you. It's about setting the position. It's about you know uh, being able to stabilize the joints and getting those supporting cast muscles activated. And then that way we can take that now into uh, you know that that specific exercise, and you're going to have a more effective uh, form with that. You're going to fall right into the, the most optimal recruitment pattern. So yeah. you, it, it just helps you to uh, you know eliminate a lot of the compensations that may occur, or you know like when you go through the motions, you're not actually activating the, the ideal muscles that you want. Yeah, look, look at it this way: um, Should everybody work out the same way? Right? We're all working out. Right. We're all in the gym doing the same exercises. We're all doing the same stuff. We're all working out. How effective is that versus all of us work out differently based on our goals and our bodies, our current fitness level, and all the other factors that make us individuals? Which one is more effective? Oh, it's night and day. Not even close. It's not even in the same universe at how fast your body will progress and the kind of results you'll get if your workout is individualized Versus a just general going to the gym and just moving uh, type of workout. Same thing with priming and warming up. So if you're like, eh, you know, I warm up and I feel okay, and you've never really truly primed, you have 
You are, it's like you were born with one eye closed. You have no idea what you're missing until you open the other eye. You have no idea what priming can do for your body unless you've actually primed your individual body. Once you do it once, you'll never go back to warming up again.